these are my current stress levels. And my goal today is to use my WHOOP and Dr. Andrew Huberman to manage my stress and increase my focus. Stress can have negative impacts on the body and brain, but healthy amounts of stress can actually increase performance. Today we'll go through a New York City day in the life and how I use these tools to help optimize my life. A portion of this video is sponsored by WHOOP. Time to get on with the run. Let's talk about how the stress monitor works. It's going to use your real-time heart rate as well as heart rate variability, or HRV, to give you personalized feedback. And I'll display this information on a scale of zero to three. Zero being very calm and relaxed, three being stressed or excited. For example, I'm on this easy zone two, low steady state run, and my stress levels are actually relatively flat when I look at the stress monitor. So it's really interesting to see that data. And then when I go to meetings that are very stressful, I can see that spike. When I'm doing any kind of activity that calms me down, like a yoga class or special breath work, I can see that drop down. And that's where the next part of this app comes in. Whoop has added science-backed breath work in partnership with Dr. Andrew Huberman right inside the app. And now you can easily start an increased alertness or increased relaxation directly within the Whoop app. I'll have a link below that shows these Huberman breathing exercises can reduce your anxiety and improve your mood. Let's commute to work and I'll show you more details about that. Now living in a busy city like New York, my stress levels are constantly going up and down. And that's why I'm hoping to regulate and manage my stress using these two breathwork practices. Knowing that the stress monitor data is personalized to me, I'm gonna be using it as a guide today to help me decide which breathwork I need to do. My current stress is a 1.2 as we're commuting on this busy day in New York City. First one is increased alertness, so if I wanna be focused or energized, I can do this cyclic hyperventilation. What is cyclic hyperventilation? It's based on the fact that we know that when you inhale, your heart rate increases, and when we exhale, our heart rate decreases. You're essentially increasing the time of inhale and decreasing the time of exhale, thus increasing your heart rate and leading to a whole bunch of other factors, which from a basic point of view, it makes you feel more alert and ready to go. And the second is increased relaxation. So if you're trying to regulate a stress response, you can use this, or if you're trying to wind down before bed. Sometimes when I'm running and I tend to notice that I'm having trouble breathing, I'll try to incorporate a physiological side to calm myself down. Or when my roommates get on my nerves, it's a great way to <laughs> and knowing that it's science-based just makes me feel even that much better. And don't forget to check out Whoop's stress monitor, link down below. Now that we've arrived back home, I mean, commuted to the office, my stress levels are low. We need to get them up because I want to stay alert. I have a phone call with our board of directors. We can do a quick exercise to be able to energize and increase my ability to focus right And you know, when you're at the office, you can't just go lie down anywhere you want. So I'm just gonna do this seated in a chair and keep it brief. I do have some coworkers around me and I just don't want to disturb them. So we'll try to keep it down a little bit. Am I um, getting a talent release form for- We can blur out his face. <laughs> now, before I start this breath work, I do, I feel a little tired. I just ate. Um, I've been trying to sip on a coffee to get myself energized, but it's not hitting right. I just kind of feel like a little out of it. I do need to have some kind of sensation of like a kick in the butt, like let's go. And I'm hoping that this little quick session of breath work like in my chair is gonna help me do that. Let's breathe and see what happens. We're gonna do one round of 20 breaths just to get going. Sit or lay down in case you experience lightheadedness. Uh, there's a cool little clip here by Dr. Andrew. There are a lot of ways to feel more alert. Cyclic hyperventilation involves taking about 20 to 25 deep breaths. So it's a deep breath in through the nose and then a relatively shorter exhale through the mouth. And it goes like so. All right, I can already tell just from the rapid inhales and the slow mouth exhales, it started to energize me. I felt like ready to go. I've done this style of breathing before and I know it works and I know I feel good, but I've always had it led by a breathwork instructor or in a specific setting. So just being able to do it right at my desk, like that was less than a minute. I'm ready to go. I'm feeling energized. I don't need this. Let's get going. My stress is now at a two, so it has increased, so that means you know, I'm heightened, I'm alert, I'm energized, so that's a good thing. I wanted to see that after that breath work. Let's get on with the meeting, baby. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we need to recruit funding for the next YouTube production video. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> 
I don't know, man. This is a joke that I think is funny, but no one else does. I want to thank Whoop, our sponsor. Reminder, you can get a free month. It's a link down below. Stress is going even higher. It's now at a 2.3. So I, I definitely feel energized and ready to go. I think that type of breath work increases dopamine and norepinephrine, which is also adrenaline. I'm actually really excited about this feature because it's like super accessible. I already use the Whoop app all the time and having Dr. Andrew Huberman just a couple taps away to get this breath work going and get me feeling energized is really powerful. Now that we're done here, let's head over to the sauna and ice bath and see how that impacts my stress monitor. I know that being in the sauna will increase my heart rate, thus potentially increasing my stress. And the cold plunge tends to decrease my heart rate, so it should take my stress down. But the biggest thing I do love about a contrast experience like this is I know the cold plunge will increase my dopamine by 200%. And these can have lasting impacts on the rest of my day. So I'd be curious over the long term, if I do cold plunges every day in the morning, is that going to decrease my overall stress monitor levels? Cold exposure here, as well as heat and sauna over here. And we're gonna see how the stress monitor changes as I switch between these two activities. So let's go inside the sauna. We're in an infrared sauna right now, so it usually it takes a bit for your body to warm up. We've been in here for about eight minutes. I was around the low one stress level, and we just hit two, which is high. Let's see if we can get up to three by staying in the infrared sauna and see what happens. And then we'll switch to the ice bath and see if it drops my stress level. All right, we are at high stress now, so I'm gonna get in the cold plunge. I know the sauna increases my heart rate, thus the stress is gonna go up. Cold plunge will decrease my heart rate, so my stress should go down. One thirty-three was my heart rate coming out of the sauna. We were in there for about thirty-five minutes, and now we're in the cold plunge. All right, do you think my stress is going to go down? Heart rate is at ninety-one. About twenty seconds in. Oh, we're at high stress. <laughs> I guess stress is high, so my HRV must be changing as well, in addition to my heart rate. We'll be in here for two more minutes, and we'll give you an update. All right, it's been about five, six minutes, and my heart rate's around 65 beats per minute now, and the stress has dropped to 0 0.6, so it went down a ton from 2.7. Looks like it's working. All right. We got six minutes in, feeling cold. And just like I suspected, the ice bath took my heart rate and stress monitor down. I let my body slowly warm back up so I can get the metabolic benefits of the cold. Now that we've done this sauna ice bath, we're gonna head home and get ready for bed. So one of the ways that I can calm right before bed is using a physiological side. And luckily, Whoop has put that in their app since I'm currently at a medium stress level and I'm having trouble falling asleep right now. We're gonna test this bad boy out, increase relaxation. They give me a couple options here with from intro, basic, all the way up to elite. We're gonna do the basic one because I'm a basic bro. For two minutes, hit save. Let's watch a quick intro. One of the fastest ways to calm down quickly under any circumstances is to employ what's called the physiological sigh. And it goes like this. Okay, I'm, I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. We can finish the video later. <laughs> just, I just finished a session and I definitely feel like, I feel very calm. I feel like I just finished the 90 minute yoga class and my stress number has dropped to a 1.2. So we didn't go all the way down, but I definitely feel like I just took a nap. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch my 1,000 days with the whoop strap and how it changed my life, linked right here. Go watch that video. Yeah, go watch that video. <laughs>